All right, Nigel, we set up your NC 25 inch 1508 class long arm for regular sewing. And we did a custom setup where you don't have to swap out the feet, the folder, and the plate. Don't ask me how, but we managed it. Um, we had to make a custom plate for you because the one that comes with the machine would not work. And it's, to be honest, not available. We've never done it for this unit before, but it works flawlessly. So we're going to show you how to go from your regular stitching, which we did here, to your binding tape, which I know is going to be the vast majority of what you need. All right, Jose, go ahead. And that's it, it's simple as that. Put the tape to the back, get it started, put your fabric in. And you're off and running. That's it, super simple. Sorry, this is the only fabric we have, so it's a small piece. And it works great. And of course, you can do much heavier materials with this. Now, let's show him how to oil it, Jose. There's some manual oiling points on the machine, and it couldn't be made more easy. We uh, mapped them out with red nail polish. A couple of drops for every full day. They're here, here. You'll see them sporadically across the machine. In the back there. This is a reserve. And there's yeah. your big oil fill. Yeah, you want to fill that up. There's the fill. Okay, the and you'll see it. I'm not sure if you can see it with the video, but you'll see it there. Oiling points there. And just hunt around the machine, you'll see them mapped out in red. So it's very simple. Now let's show them how to thread it. This will be their first time sewing until they hire an operator. So we're going to show you guys how it goes. You got your spool of thread here. If you want, you could put a plastic bag on it or a sock. This way the thread doesn't whip around. I'll put one in the drawer for you. First threading eyelet goes there. From the top discs down, back through, come up, back down. This is all through the discs. Slow down, Jose, slow down. Okay. Make lift sure up that. Like the yeah, make sure that spring lifts up on the bottom. Now, see it right there? That spring should be yeah, moving like that. Okay. Through the threading eyelet, through that big hole. No, I can't see that. Start that part over. You lift that up, push it through. You turn the light off, it's too bright. To the needle. The needle from the outside in. That's it, you put your fabric in. Always hand start a couple of stitches. Hand start, well, my God, machine started, but you should hand start it with the feet, with the hand wheel, a couple of stitches, then go to your pedal. That's your reverse bar, which lets you lock in the stitch. You go backwards, back tack lever. And that's it, buddy. That should give you the basics on what you need to do. And this will be a home run. This is a walk in the park for this machine, so. We'll both be gone and you'll be, uh, we'll both be gone and the machine will still be going. Here's the bobbin winder. Let's show you that real quick. When you want to wind your own bobbins, put that in there, same way. The bobbin winder is on the face of the machine. And you go over to there. Put it through that first eyelet, then back through the tension disc, then back through the eyelet. Give it a manual. Oh, we get a bobbin first. And you'll have some spare bobbins in the bag. You can preload these and for your work day. That's it. And as you sew, it's going to wind bobbins. And 
And that's it, buddy. Use 69 for what application you're using in the needle and in the bobbin. So 69 bond of nylon, top and bottom, which is what we provided you with the order. Here is your pack of tape I provided, so you can play around with it. And here is our color chart of 160 colors of the inch and a quarter poly that we stock here in New Jersey, all USA made. And that's it, buddy. I hope this helps you guys get started. What else you want to show them, Jose? Oh, the, um, this is the stitch, in uh, the stitch length. length. You can make it shorter or longer by turning that. Put the reverse lever down. The zero stitches. And then go through up, 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 bigger, up. bigger, bigger, smaller, whatever you want. Okay? But you hold that reverse lever down in order to charge the stitch, in order Always. to change the stitch length. Anything else or we're all set, Jose? That's it. And when you get your machine, show him, just tip this back real quick. Just show him how he's gonna slip the belt on and everything. So flip the machine. Take it off the... We'll show, we'll show you how to put that on in a second. Okay. This is the knee lifter. And you just punch it in. Nothing crazy when you want to take it off. Pull it out. Okay, now, when you get your machine, the table will be fully assembled. And this is how it's going to go on. Okay? It's going to go right on top of here. You have the brackets on the back of the machine. You have to slip those on. After you do that... The oil... Fill it up this low and the high. Yeah, this is semi-automatic oiling, so you want to fill this up with oil, which we'll be giving you. Low and high. Be in so between. Really don't, don't top. Yeah, the don't low. go anywhere near high. So go about uh, two thirds of the way up to high, and then once you get that on, the machine, the belt's going to be a little loose. Okay, that's what this is when you put your belt on. Put your belt on there, and it obviously is going to connect down at the bottom on your uh, motor pulley. Your motor is speed adjustable. If you go too slow, it won't work. You go too fast, you're asking for trouble. So where it is is pretty pretty good spot. And that's it, but I can't think of anything else. I hope this helps you. Let me show you those brackets in the back. They'll be in the drawer. These little guys, these pins, okay? You're gonna fit those into the machine. You can put your binding tape right there. And that should give you a pretty good head start.